folks, Allison here, UVLT's Programs Director. Welcome to Field Notes Friday. Uh, earlier this week, I was at Zebedee Wetland in Thetford with a friend, and we were talking about all the different kinds of pollinators and all the blooms that were blooming um, right now. And we started talking about a particular plant, and I thought this would make a good Field Notes. So let's talk about it. The plant we're going to be talking about today is this plant right here. It's called Joe Pieweed. And you might recognize it since it's a pretty ubiquitous plant in the upper valley. It's part of the genus Eutrochinum. And the two of the, there are five um, species of Joe Pieweed. The two that are most common in the Northeast are Sweet Joe Pieweed and Spotted Joe Pieweed. So this is a native plant, native to the northern United States and Canada, and it's a great plant for pollinators. They really like this. You often see them covered with bees and butterflies and moths and all sorts of pollinators. And one of the reasons that they really like this plant is look at those tubular shaped flowers that are just perfect for a proboscis. Even hummingbirds are really attracted to this plant. So it's a great pollinator plant to have in your garden or your meadow. Um, these plants grow in Places where other plants sometimes won't, so they like wet areas. A wet meadow is perfect for them. A wet roadside, um, field edges. Those are the kind of places that you would find Joe Pieweed. And um, they're also somewhat deer resistant, apparently. So having a native plant that is somewhat resistant to the browse of the white-tailed deer is really, really um, great. So now for some folklore about the name of this plant. So it's called Joe Pieweed, and that name comes from a colonial era Native American man who was um, likely Mohican and probably from Stockbridge, Massachusetts. And he had taken Joseph Pie as his quote unquote Christian name. And um, he used this plant to treat fevers and he taught the colonists how to use it to treat typhus. And um, that's probably where the name comes from is from this Native American healer who taught colonists how to use this plant in a medicinal way. And so they named the plant after him. And now we have Joe Pieweed. So that's your fun fact about uh, Joe Pieweed for Field Notes Friday. Uh, I hope you all stay cool and have a great weekend.